Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul. I went to Ulta early last week and bought a bunch of stuff. There really was no real reason why. I think I needed like some new powder, which I'll talk about. That's like the only product that I've used in that. Wait, am I? So I've used a translucent powder and this lipstick, which I literally just reached my hand in the bag for. But other than that, everything is brand spanking new and we'll talk about why I bought it. A lot of it was just to do research on new makeup, especially with the holidays coming up. I just wanted to kind of dig deep and see what was new at Ulta. So if you're interested in some new makeup products, then let's get into it. Yes, this was a $350. Ulta haul. I am now a platinum member of their ultimate rewards. So let's first talk about, I got some mascara. I had heard lots about the NARS Climax mascara and I was really excited to try it. I love this packaging. NARS always has really great packaging. I've heard amazing things about it. I actually saw a couple of influencers talk about it on Instagram. So I was really excited to try it out. It was one of those products that was new and I love NARS. So it was just like, I'm going to try it out. So that's that. This is the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown. This is my go-to eye pencil and I always buy two at a time. When you find a product that just works for you, you just buy the same one over and over again. I have heard amazing things of the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the brow pomade. I don't have the patience to fill my brows in with a, a, a pomade. You know, I have two kids under the age of five. I'm really just trying to knock these brows out and keep it moving. I'm just happy that I have brows on my face that look good. So the Brow Wiz is just one of those things I always pick up. Next up is another product that I use all the time, pretty much every single time I do makeup, and that is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. If you have watched my channel or watched me on my Instagram stories, anytime I talk about makeup, I'm usually talking about this thing. Just a trusty, trusty concealer. It's so good to me and I will just, it's my favorite. I just haven't come across anything that has beat it yet. This is the shade Caramel, which is medium dark two. I currently have medium dark one, I think. I don't think it's Caramel, it's a different color, but once I strayed off from Caramel, I was kind of bummed out. It, the color just wasn't the same. But I will say that NARS has such an amazing range of colors for all different complexions. I feel like NARS is one of those companies who does a really good job with making sure they have an extensive range even before it was trendy. So get into it. This is the best concealer in the game. So in the midst of being at Ulta, I got a gang of dark lipsticks because right now I'm in the search of the best fall winter dark lipsticks for brown girls. And I really wanted to take this research seriously and just kind of run through everything. I'm actually wearing one of the colors that I purchased and this is from CoverGirl. This is their Melting Pout Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Paradise Lost. So it's like a really nice brown color. I've really been into browns lately. And this is a really, really beautiful color. I literally only put this on like, what, five minutes ago when we started filming this. And so far I like it. I do like the consistency. I will say I had to put a few layers on for it to become as opaque as it is. But I will say so far so good. But I will definitely keep you guys posted in my upcoming video that I'm doing with the best fall winter dark lipsticks. The other lipsticks I got were the L'Oreal, this is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Deeply Disturbed, like a nice like purpley plum color. So I'm really excited to try that. This is the NYX Lingerie line, which had a lot of beautiful like browns and nudes. This is Seduction, which is number 17 if you're looking for it. This is another L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick color. This is in the shade Roseblood, almost like a brick red brownish color. So excited to try that as well. Then I got into the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink it's in the shade Voyager. Another kind of brick red, slightly brighter than the color I was just talking about, but excited to give that a try. We have another one from CoverGirl. This is again their Melting Pout Matte color, and this is in the shade Back Talk. And this is like a 
purpley plum color, which you can't really go wrong with plum in the fall. It's just such a cute color. It looks good on everybody. Love, love these kinds of shades. And then the last two are both NYX lingerie colors. This is Lipley 12, which is exotic. And this one is shade number four, which is Ruffle Trim, which is really pretty as well. I found such a great amount of shades at uh, Ulta and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's get into palettes. When I was at Ulta, I got quite, I got a handful of palettes, nothing too crazy. Um, but again, I just love a drugstore find. So I was really excited to see this Ulta Beauty NYX um, collab. This is their shadow palette and I believe it's called, I think it's just called EXO. It just says EXO on here. That's all I got for you. But it's six colors. Um, the colors are super pretty and they have like, there's one like highlight color. There's a couple of like metallic shimmery colors. Then there's a plum, a deep brown, and like a teal color. So I feel like you can have a lot of fun with these for sure. This is actually not a palette. This is a, the Morphe High Impact Highlighter. Um, this is Mirage. This is so pretty, like this bronzy color. Just like more of like a gold bronzy highlighter, um, which I'm always, always going to be down for. I just feel like it just always looks so good. The last two palettes that I did get from Ulta are from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Never tried an Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick or palette or anything like that. I typically only get her brow products. So I've heard great things just watching other YouTubers and seeing my favorite beauty, I guess gurus and influencers on Instagram talk about um, the, the eyeshadow palette. So I was really excited when I came across these. The first one I have is Norvina which is in this beautiful lavender velvet uh, packaging, which is just very, very luxe. I'm a sucker for good packaging. But you guys, this palette is so pretty. It has all the purples and the pinks and all of that on it. On brown skin, this is going to be insane, but I can't even imagine how beautiful this looks on like a wide range of complexions. Can y'all see that? And so the first row is all metallics and then the bottom row is all like mattes, which I mean, guys, I'm literally not even like hard swatching. Like look at my fingers. So, so excited for this. And I feel like there's deep enough hues where you could, you know, this is a color story that would obviously look beautiful in the spring, right? Your purples, your pinks. But I also feel like they have these deeper shades that you could definitely take into winter that would look really pretty as well. So if you would like to see a uh, I don't know, a makeup look, a tutorial from this palette, let me know in the comments below. Well, last but not least, this is my favorite product I got from this haul. Was so excited when I saw this, mostly because anything with glitter excites me. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette. Very, very excited for this because this is going to be perfect, especially with like holiday parties and New Year's Eve coming up. Like, Girl, not that you even need an excuse to use this. Girl, you just want to be beat and be around your house. That's more than enough reason. But these colors are so beautiful. Just so, so beautiful. And again, just on, um, I feel like this is going to look good on a wide range of complexions. But if you have brown skin, oh my God, like this rose quartz, just so pretty. They have like a slate color, which is like a true gray. They have the noir, which is that matte black. I love that they even have this like peachy color called Bloom. I just feel like this is such a beautiful palette that you can have so much fun with and that a little bit is gonna go a long way. And if you guys wanna see a tutorial, I have been having so much fun like just doing my makeup and even sharing my favorites with you guys on Instagram stories. So I'm happy, more than happy to do that. I don't really need a reason to plan my makeup, but I'll leave it up to you guys. All right, you guys, that does it for this haul. You know, it's funny, I feel like a few years ago I really wasn't into hauls, but I noticed that I love watching it on YouTube and I thought it would be fun to do this with you guys. Like I said, if you like these kinds of videos, let me know with a thumbs up or, you know, with a comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. No, no, no.